I've always had a passion for food. I don't know, years ago when I was like 13, me and my girlfriend used to pretend we were putting on dinners and make all different, try different recipes and cook. So I'm not an artistic person. So, you know, I get my, my artists come out in my cooking. I mean, here we're known for our frittata. And that's like one of the biggest I love the pancakes. I have my favorite omelets. So it's just, it's, there's a whole bunch of them. It's hard to say a favorite. It depends my mood, what I'm in the mood for. Um, my name's Amy Easton, and I'm one of the owners of Mother's Cupboard. It originated, a sister and a sister-in-law started the business um, back in 1956. The doors never shut. It went from one owner to the next owner. We're the fifth owner. Me and my partner, we've owned it for 14 years. I worked here five years before that, so I've been here 19 years. There's family related, you know, so like my sister works for me, my daughter works for me, um, my partner, his cousin works for him. Mikey's been here for 30 years. Like I said, they're not my employees, they're, they're my family. I think when they pull up, the size of it is always like, it looks so small. And they go, we see all these cars, where do you fit them all? I'm like, we cram them in. But I think it looks, it's bigger inside than what it looks, proceeds from the outside. Not too many places have your food cooked right in front of you anymore. I mean, most things are in back and you don't see it. So, I mean, so many people say we're like a well-oiled machinery. You come here on the weekend, there's people waiting out the door for 45 minutes, every seat's taken. I have a person seating people, I have pe two waitresses, two cooks. It's a show, I say it's, you know, it's breakfast theater. <laughs>have from your tattoo pierce to your old grandma's coming I mean we get every type of person coming in here it's not but we treat every single person the same so we treat we kid with everybody we'll bust anybody's ball so it doesn't matter who you are I mean to us we that's what I think it's like being at mom's house you know you ever, I don't know our family's always been I have an open house at Christmas or Thanksgiving you know if somebody's friend doesn't have something come on over come on over it's kind of like that, come on in and we treat you like family no matter who you are. So I've had people become friends or find out where they probably would never talk in life, but because we sat them at the same table that all of a sudden you just start talking and people are pretty much people. Like I said, I think we treat you more than just a customer. We treat you like you're a friend for the first time in. So like, we'll get around with you. And being so small that you get more of a friendly home vibe. Like our business here, I love the people. I mean, we get a lot of regulars. Um, the customers, they become part of your family, you know. You see little kids grow up. Um, being for 19 years, I've seen them eat their first pancake and head off to go to college. So as this small business, you deal with a lot of people and they become your family. Oh, you have days when, especially like here, there's not a lot of employees, so. If somebody's sick or someone calls in and you're trying to function down a man and you're running around or paying bigger bills when you're not expecting them. So, oh, th yeah, there are some bad days of it. In life, there's good and bad in everything you do. That's just the fact of things. And you have to smile and laugh at the good times and hold your breath and make it through the bad times. So, I mean, it's any, any, path you walk in life you're gonna have good or bad and we laugh we make stupid jokes we that just what family means and what people just just being a good person just enjoy the good things in life because it goes quick